Welcome back to the channel viewers. You may be asking, Troy, why are you standing out behind the rig and we're watching you on a monitor in the truck? Well, frankly, it's because we can now. Santa Claus brought us a Christmas gift that we got around to installing today. It's a Zero X Club backup camera. So Brandy and I have been in the market for a good backup camera for a while now. We wanted that extra peace of mind, safety and security for when we were backing up at the rig into a campsite that we weren't gonna take out a tree or anything. Or when we're driving down the road to check our blind spots or even parked in the parking lot for additional security. We wanted something that wasn't gonna break the bank, that was gonna be budget friendly. We didn't wanna spend thousands of dollars on the top of the line camera system. We just wanted something that was gonna be easy to install something that would be reliable and just serve its purpose. So Brandy gave those requirements to Santa Claus and he brought us the Zero X Club. Let's go do an unboxing and check it out. So let's do a quick unboxing. It's the Zero X Club backup camera system. It's the W01 backup camera. Dear buyer, congratulations to be our lucky buyer under brand Zero X Club. They want to send us a present. Nice. Instruction manual. Can't be too difficult. It's got pictures. It's always a plus. Some foam padding. Seven inch monitor. The camera with one of the mounting plates. It comes with a couple of mounting brackets. This is a mounting bracket for the monitor. Some double-sided tape, I believe, goes under that mounting bracket if you wanted to use that as a mounting solution in your tow vehicle. Another mounting bracket for the monitor for the tow vehicle. Power cords. We have the camera power cord. Cigarette lighter adapter for the monitor. And also a hardwired power cord for the monitor. It comes with an antenna for each de device and screws for the brackets. There's also, like I mentioned before, Another mounting bracket for the camera. And then some more double-sided sticky tape as needed. So before we mount the camera and install the monitor in the truck, I wanted to test it to make sure everything works properly. That we have a signal from the camera to the monitor and the picture looks okay. So to do that, I needed to power the camera as well as the monitor. Our rig actually come equipped with a bus bar for multiple hookups, which is kind of cool. So I ran a power line, the camera's power wire, to the bus bar, and then I did a jumper with the ground over to our battery here. The wire plugs into the camera here. We've got the camera there. So we should have power to the camera. Let's go inside and check the monitor, make sure everything works. I've got the monitor set here on this little stand. One of the mounting brackets that come with this little stand here. Plugged into our 12 volt in the rig. Got power. Let's see what we got here. All right. We have a picture. Now that we know that everything's working properly, we have power to the camera, power to the monitor. Got a good picture. We can start the mounting process. So not only did Santa bring us a cool backup camera for the rig, 
He also brought us something that's going to help with the install today. One of these cool telescoping ladders. We've been wanting one for a while for the rig, just because we don't have to strap on a step ladder, or because our rig doesn't wasn't equipped with one, nor did we want to pay the money to have one installed, because I hear they're kind of flimsy, or not that they would support my weight. So these, I don't have to worry about. It's up to 330 pounds, it's made of aluminum alloy, and extends from 2.9 feet all the way up to 12 and a half feet, so that's plenty enough room to get on top of the rig or get up to clean off the slides. Exactly what we were looking for. It's gonna be easy to store, pretty thin. It's got a nice little carry handle. It's got a strap that keeps it all nice and tidy. It's uh, got these end caps on here. They're a nine slip. The whole unit weighs only 25 pounds. This particular model is made by Ohuhu. We're not paying endorsements. Santa had his elves make it with their own hard work his own money for supplies. At the time of this production, Santa's cost for this was about 120 bucks. A lot cheaper than installing a ladder on the rig. It's, it's gonna be very versatile for us. Like I said, it can be put at any level. It's got the thumb screws on each rung to, to lower it without smushing your fingers. So we're excited to use it. I'm gonna put it to good use today. Let's go install a camera. So since the camera runs off a of 12 volt power, instead of running a wire all the way up to that bus bar where I demonstrated the test, we're gonna tap into a marker light. It's 12 volt. Granted, we'll have to power on the lights in any time we want the camera on, but there's also a shortcut if you wanted to use it at the campsite without having it being plugged up to your, to your truck. So I'll demonstrate that later, but let's get uh, some power and get this camera mounted to the back. As you can see, our marker light here, it's got a coat of die core around it that I'll have to replace after I peel this off. You don't want no water to get inside the fiberglass. But all you gotta do is take a putty knife or a razor blade, cut around, and this will pop right off. So the marker light is crimped in here on the power wires. Uh, RV 12 volt. Should be negative on the white, and the green is positive. So these I'm gonna have to snip, because like I said, they're crimped on here. Snip and strip these wires, and then we'll get the camera wires wire netted on there. Safety first. Before you start messing with electrical wires, make sure they don't have any power. I obviously did. There's no power to these lights. I've got them all stripped up, wired together. Let's go plug in this camera. Give us some power and see if it works. Quick tip, if you ever find yourself just needing or wanting power to your marker lights or tail lights, if you're parked on the side of the road and you need it for additional safety, or you're parked in a parking lot and you just want them on at night for, for safety, and you need power without being hooked up to your truck or tow vehicle, on your seven pin connector, on the top, you have a power and tail lights. I'm sorry, power and tail lights. Top, top left is power, top right is your marker lights. I say top because there's this guide, pro, guide post up here that you plug in, it's in the top. So, But if you use a blade fuse or a jumper wire, Cross those two pongs, you'll have power to your tail lights. So now that I have this fuse in, I should have power to our marker lights. We can go check that out, and then we can power up the camera. Not sure that you can see in the glare, but we do have power up to the marker lights, just from using that blade fuse in the seven pin. Now we can go check our signal from the camera. Now I know that we have power to the camera through the marker light. It's just a matter of cleaning it up mounting it to the rig, and then working on installing the monitor in the truck. On the camera itself, where the power wire plugs in, you'll notice there's a little red button. This button is used to pair with the monitor, but it comes paired from the factory. So I don't believe that we're gonna need to pair it again. So I'm gonna tuck this in with 
with the wires back into the rig but if I ever need to pair the camera with the monitor I can just pull them back out and pair it up the camera does come supplied with plenty of wire I think there's probably at least six maybe even ten feet of camera wire power wire so it's just a matter of getting it tucked back in to the rig here as you can see I'll show you a better picture in a second. I used the mounting bracket and just drilled it into the marker plate. Just remove the light and the marker cover. And use this mounting plate, which I'll run a bead of dicor around to seal it up. But it was a perfect size. Holes already here. That way I didn't have to drill a big hole or a bigger hole into the fiberglass. I just used the existing holes in the marker plate and secured the bracket to the rig. So the mounting hardware for the camera includes these little washers and these little screws. <laughs> Try to find this washer in that gravel down there not for me i need somebody with better eyes but thankfully they sent extra not sure they're exactly extra each side of the mounting bracket has three each side of the camera has three screws where you can adjust the position of the camera once you get it mounted in here i'm only going to use two screws on each side instead of three so i have an extra washer as you can see, I've got two of the three screws in on the sides of the camera. And this thing is pretty solid. I don't, I don't suspect that it'll move much during travel, but we'll have to do a shakedown trip to, to make sure. But all in all, pretty pleased with the install up here of the, the mounting. Just like I said, I'll have to run some more die corn seal up all the all the holes but yeah looks pretty good now it's just a matter of going in installing the monitor in the rig i mean in the truck and checking out the signal from here to there it's like 55 feet let's go see if it works so as you can see i've just got the monitor set up here on the dash on its handy dandy little stand it come supplied with just for testing purposes. I'm a little leery about drilling holes or putting double-sided tape on my dash. Not something that I want to do. So I actually reached out to Zero X Club. They're gonna send us a suction cup mount for free. Not only that, they're gonna send us a camera antenna extender, which gives us another 10 feet of cord off the back of the camera closer to the monitor for a better signal. So shout out to Zero X Club for their customer service and providing those, those, us those items because we're not paid endorsements saying they used his hard-earned money and his Elf's workshop to get this camera system to us. So good customer service from Zero X Club. Plus I don't want to permanently put it in here because it's portable with a cigarette lighter adapter and I can take it out of the truck into the rig for security. Plus we can have it in the rig plugged up to look at the camera when we're parked in some shady spots. But let's go check out the image and see how it looks. So I thought, I wonder how good the image is gonna be from the truck to the rear of the, the rig. And it's not bad. It's 61 feet from bumper to bumper. And I'm standing about six feet behind the rig. And the image quality is pretty good. At least it'll serve the purpose for what we're gonna use it for. So all in all, so far, I'm pleased. After our shakedown trip, we'll do an update review and see how good this backup camera is working for us. Uh, that's not all, folks. So we've got power. How do I look? Let me go check it out. I need that. I see that screw I just dropped? I'm gonna need it. Oh. <clears throat> Did 
got it. Welcome back to the channel, viewers. Whoops. Hmm. Another dropped washer. This will be fun. Hopefully I can hold on to this one better than I did the last one. Guess not, but I'll at least see this one. <laughs> <laughs> 